What's up everybody welcome back to another exciting apex legends video today we are checking out the official chaos theory event trailer i just got home from work so i'm gonna check this thing out so you guys can see my live reaction and then we're gonna talk about some of the patch notes and things that are going on so let's get right into it by suffering nothing uh -oh. like cold steel on a hot day uh oh bring moving run 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 Deserve to die. <laughs> you overvalue your place in the world. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what? So, a couple of things before we get into the patch notes. So, we have new skins as always. Skins look good, skins look great. I think I think I think that looks amazing, right? Like it it just looks good. You know what I'm saying? It just looks really good. Um like the skins look cool. Okay, so it looks like we got a new area which is water treatment has been taken over. This is water treatment for sure. Right? Water treatment for sure. Okay? So it took a redone water treatment, which is nice. Water treatment became like a really good hot spot, uh, you know, recently. But um, wow! And then here we go. Check this out. Nothing like cold steel on a hot Bangalore's day. new heirloom is some kind of knife. Uh, first thoughts, guys. I'm actually disappointed. I'm actually disappointed. Um, cause I mean, if you think about it, we have a, a kunai knife, we have the tomahawk knife, we have octane's little knife. I mean, how many more legends are we going to give a knife to, you know, like, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Like, I wish they would give more legends, different stuff. Like I'm tired of having a knife. Like she's a like an assault person, like a commander. She's a a captain general in the military. Like there's there's got to be something better than you can give than a knife. I mean something better. You know, just something. This is like our fourth knife. So disappointed in that, but um, outside of that, uh, it does look really cool. It's a cool looking knife with a shiny blade on the end. You know, kind of is what it is. Really disappointed in it, though. Really disappointed. All right. And now we got a limited time mode, Ring Fury, which we're going to check out in the patch notes. We got a brief glimpse of this with the the portals. Um, so, yeah. Looks cool. Heat Shield a protect, protects a dome pro, projects a dome that protects legends from ring damage. Seems cool. We'll get into that. Heat Shield protects a dome that protects legends from ring damage. Okay. And then the caustic takeover treatment, which you got a, a glimpse of the inside workings of this new location, which is going to be a super sexy hot drop. And then all the new skins. So overall, trailer looks cool. Now let's hop right into the uh, the um, the notes on this new event.
Okay, guys, so let's check out the new patch notes. Okay, we got the trailer. We're going to look at the brand new uh, patch notes. The Chaos Theory Collection event kicks off March 9th, 2021, and runs till March 23rd. Uh, we get to check out all the brand new stuff inside the trailer. So this will be really, really fun. So let's go down and look. You got the Nintendo Switch launch as well. On Tuesday, March 9th, uh, it comes to the Switch. So with crossplay, which is going to be really crazy. Uh, I think it's going to be able to tell like who bots are. Like kind of how like Fortnite had their mobile bots. You could tell like, oh, he's a mobile bot player. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to get into the Switch part. Uh, celebrate Switch players. There's a brand new skin. Uh, Caustic Town Takeover. When life gives you lemons, you can count on Caustic to turn it into Toxic Lemonade. Uh, it's a new dominant mousetrap with lots of high-quality loot. So it is a high-quality loot location, which will be really, really cool, although water treatment already was. But uh, the inner workings of this place look really, really nice. Um, so now let's look at the Ring Fury Escalation Takeover Heat Shields and Survival Slot. Okay. Ring Fury is a new Apex playlist that follows the regular BR rules, but in each round, one or more Ring Flares will appear on the map within the current ring. Ring Flares are slowly expanding pockets of the ring within the arena. Maggie sure knows how to start a party. So this is all Maggie's doing because of Fuse. Those who got caught in the Ring Flare will take damage equal to the damage dealt by the current round's ring. You will be given a short warning on the map and the mini map before the ring flares appear. Legends will call out if they're in direct danger. So, uh, so how do you deal with ring flares? Two ways. First, you try not to get caught in them, and then failing, you can drop a new item, heat shields. Heat shields during the, the takeover, all players start with one in their inventory. Throw down, and it protects you from ring flares or from the ring itself. And remember, you can always find more. The loot pool for this, the loot pool for this event has uh been tuned to the spread of heat shields throughout the map that's a really cool looking picture um heat shields cast a protective dome pouring out deadly effects of the ring for a short time enabling legends to loot revive and generally make some amazing plays outside of the ring plus when you're inside the dome healing items increase by 50 percent and revive speed is increased by 25 percent. this bonus is only given while inside the heat shield um but it has to be activated by the ring, so it has to be inside of the ring shield. If it's in a safe conservance, in the safe zone, are conserving energy and don't grant this bonus. But watch out, the heat shields will slowly degrade as power as its damage is ringed. So, like, they go out as, as it goes over, okay? So, real quick, let's let's look at this real fast. So, so you have these that pop up all over the map uh, at each ring interval on top of the normal ring. And then you are given a heat shield and you can find more to protect yourself from these things and then as long as you're inside of the heat dome when either the regular zone or these flares are affecting it you get the increased healing item and in increased revives inside of it outside of it if you're just in the thing it acts essentially like a gibby dome without the bonuses so it's a free gibby dome that everybody on your team has. So much for Gibby. That's all I got to say. So much for Gibby. So much for Gibby. That's all I got to say. Um, all right, let's continue. Uh, survival slot. So you have a new survival slot. You notice that your heat shield doesn't take up part of your inventory, which is really nice. And the survival slot aims to eliminate the choice between normal loot and situational items like a mobile respawn beacon or a heat shield. Now, there's no reason not to carry one of these around. Coordinate with your team and possibility for survival tactics soar. So basically, you can carry this or a free respawn beacon in this slot. That I like. That's cool. Um, although there's still with the how fast Apex is and ranked, a mobile respawn beacon doesn't really serve a good purpose because you're going to have... So many teams aping you because so many teams are going to be alive. So that's free or, or KP for them. And then inside pubs, teams get eliminated way too fast. So mobile respawn beacons are still as useless as they are now. Uh, but this dome shield, everybody's going to have one. I feel so bad for Gibby. Um, but, I mean, the addition of the slot itself, if you don't have one, there's no reason not to carry something. So I guess that's really cool. Introducing escalation takeovers. So, uh, like previous playlist takeovers, Re Ring Fury will replace regular duos and trios for the two weeks. Okay. 
So before we get into no fill matchmaking, so let's let's look at these three things together. So you basically have a Gibby on every team, no matter what legend you're playing. You have the addition of ring flares, which is kind of like that red uh, thing that happened in um, PUBG that just randomly appears, but this happens every single ring. Um, so I wonder how that's really going to affect ranked. This heat shield thing is a cool idea, but respawn, I mean, unless they've tested it, you guys literally just killed Gibby. You just killed Gibby. The meta is going to shift so much because of these heat shields. It's insane. It's just going to shift so much. Because even outside of them, yeah, you don't get the the buff to heals and revives. But who cares when th all three of your teammates or you and your two teammates each have one of these. It's a free dome shield. It's free Gibby shield. Like, that's nuts. Um, and then the survival slot is cool. So let's scroll down. No fill matchmaking is the new way to play the game as a solo legend. Here's how it works. You might choose to use it. So basically, you can just um, check the box entitled fill matchmaking uh, and fill as your squads and duos and trivo, trios, whichever you queued for. This is how the game has worked up to this point and will default the setting for the match you play. But unchecking the box will give you, uh, will allow you to play without out that. So if you want a solo queue, then you can. In duos or, or trios, or if it's you in a duo in trios and you want a solo duo queue, you can do that too. Pretty cool, man. Uh, we strongly believe that at its best, Xbox Legends is a game about team play. But we're launching this no-fill matchmaking as an option for solo players because we think it gives them a lot of creative opportunities to play the game your way. Here are some things you might want to use no matchmaking for. Focus on completing certain daily quests. Warm up, drop hot, and get into a lot of fights. Challenge yourself. Can you win duos alone? How about trios? Experience the latest lore teaser on your own. Explore the mini-map and experiment with characters you haven't tried before. Take an opportunity to learn a bit more about the game at your own pace. So here's the thing with this. All this is bad. All this is bad. Um, all this is bad. It makes zero sense because you could do all these things inside the game already. You can drop alone. You can go explore and go off by yourself. You don't have to stick with your team. Who's making you stick with your team? Nobody. Nobody's making you stick with the team. You can warm up, drop hot, and get into a lot of fights without your team. You can challenge yourself without your team, which a lot of players do because they complain about randos doing their own thing. And you can experience the latest lore on your own. The only thing that this does is allow you to always get your main legend. That's it. That's all this does is allow you to always get your main legend no matter what. So this is this is all bad. Now from content creation, which I think this is exactly who it's for, for big content creators to create. And they even say it like they believe it. It's for creative opportunities. So it's for, it's for content creation. It's not for these reasons. It's for content creation, but it's not for these reasons. It's for like the big streamers or big YouTubers or people like myself that want to content create to do something cool, but you can still do all of these things with, with, with no fill, not even being a thing. So I don't like this. I mean, it is what it is, but I, I don't like the reasons that this was implemented. I think it is going to be a cool thing um, for players, but I do think players will get really sick and tired of solo queuing and still getting dominated because if you're not if you're not a god tier player like doing this is not going to work like if you even even doing this if you can't win a 1v1 consistently this isn't even in your bracket this and that's the hard truth like this isn't even in your realm of possibilities if you can't win consistent 1v1s so um but if they wanted you to learn the game at your own pace before, they should have kept in when back in season seven where you're allowed to explore the map with no fighting. Like just bring that back for players. But that's all I gotta say about that, guys. This this I don't like. But then you got the events and rewards. Dope. Stuff looks cool, guys. You got more skins, which are gonna be really cool. It's kinda like this Ronin Spartan kind of deal. The new Bangalore um Pilot's knife. Which is kind of cool. Shout out to Bangalore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, 
today's video with the live reaction and talking about the patch notes please drop a like slap that like button and if you guys want more apex legends tips and tricks videos to improve your gameplay guys be sure to consider subscribing and for me warlog as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace